Hello, I'm Kelly Proudfit from the Glen McNary branch of the Greensboro Public Library. Halloween is just around the corner, so I'm going to talk to you about two of my favorite things, Halloween candy and books. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to use extra Halloween candy you might have around your house to make a delicious microwave mug cake. And the fun part about this mug cake is that you get to mix in any kind of chocolate candy bar you choose to make it the flavor that you like. And for fun, after the recipe, the second thing I will do is show you how some great Halloween themed books for kids match up with some favorite candy bar choices. So let's start with the recipe which I found online and the website is listed there for you. You are going to need to gather all of your ingredients before you start. You're going to need plain chocolate candy like a Hershey bar, milk, vegetable oil, flour, baking powder, and a favorite chocolate candy to mix in. You really do want to use chocolate candy in this recipe and not any other kind. The first thing you're going to do is break or chop up the plain chocolate until you have one quarter cup and then put it into a microwave safe mug. Add three tablespoons of milk and then microwave the mug for 30 seconds. Remove it carefully from the microwave and whisk or stir the melted chocolate and the milk until it's nice and smooth. And then add one half tablespoon of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of all purpose flour, and one quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Stir or whisk until it's smooth. Now for the fun part. Choose your favorite chocolate candy bar, I use Kit Kat, and break or chop it up until you have two to three tablespoons and then stir that into the mug. Now microwave it for one minute. Let it cool, especially if you use anything car with caramel in it. Make sure you let it cool before you eat it. And then you can either eat it straight out of the mug once it's cool, or you can put it into a different mug or bowl and enjoy. So, I used a Kit Kat in my mug cake. And as I told you, I'm going to match different chocolate candy bars with Halloween books. So what book goes with a Kit Kat? I think a great book that goes with a Kit Kat is a Franny K. Stein book by Jim Benton. This series is about a girl who is actually a mad scientist. What makes it like a Kit Kat? Well, because both are light and crisp and funny and smart and great to share with friends. How about some other types of candy? I'm going to recommend four more matches to you. Next up is one of my favorite M&Ms, and I would match that with the Goosebump series by R.L. Stein. Why? Because there are over 200 books in the Goosebump series. Just like a bag of M&Ms, if you like one, there are a lot more to enjoy. And just like there are a variety of M&M colors, you can find all different kinds of monsters and creepy creatures in the Goosebumps books. How about a Snickers? I think a Snickers goes with scary stories to tell in the dark. The Snickers is a classic candy bar that's very rich and, as the commercials used to say, satisfying. In the same way, this collection of folklore and urban legends has been around since 1981, and it's full of short stories, many of which are super spooky. Be sure you are up for a scare if you read this. Maybe you don't want something as rich as a Snickers. How about a Twix instead? A good match for a Twix bar is the Eerie Elementary series by Jack Chabert. Like a Twix, which is a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of caramel, and a little bit of cookie, this series about a haunted school is great if you want just a little taste of a Halloween chapter book. It's got short chapters, it's got illustrations, it's funny, and it's just a little bit scary if you're not too sure how scared you want to be. My last book and candy match is the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup and the book Nightmares by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller. Like the Reese's Cup, which brings together chocolate and peanut butter, Nightmares is a great combination of scary and entertaining. It's the story of Charlie Laird and his friends and what happens when nightmares start to come to life. It's a great friendship story that's also very funny. All of these books, along with many other scary stories, 
can be found at the Greensboro Public Library, either on the shelves or in our digital library. Thank you so much for listening and happy Halloween.